Hi, um, this is how you turn an InDesign file into a form in Acrobat. So what I'm going to do is um, first go into my layers and let you see how um, I have two layers and I'll click on them. There's the first one and the second one. They're just simple text boxes and I'm going to lock them. Okay, so now I know they're locked. Now I'm going to go over here to the um, tool menu and I'm going to grab the um, rectangle tool without the X in it and I'm going to make a rectangle. Let me zoom in a little bit here. And I'm going to um, just make a rectangle about the size of a text um, box. Okay, that would be roughly the size of a text box. And I'm glad that the text wrap showed around it because I'm going to bring the text wrap over and make sure that it's not the second icon, but it's the first icon if this double line shows up. So I'm now going to click it and you're going to see how it's just a simple rectangle. Now in the, um, you can do it up here, up here, um, or you can do it um, over here in the tool palette by changing the stroke to black. Um, I can do it there, or I can have done it right here in the swatches palette, okay? Um, but I'm going to make sure that the fill is none, the stroke is black, doesn't have to be so big. I'm just going to make it like 0.25. So it's just a very thin, thin stroke. Now I'll click the selection tool and I'll hold control alt. I would hold command option, but I'm going to hold control alt, click on it, like, you know, first click on it and then hold control alt and just drag a second one down. So you're making a duplicate. Okay, now I'm going to drag a third one, a fourth one, and a fifth one down, depending on how many boxes you want. And I'll just move it over so it lines up to wherever it's supposed to be, you know. Okay, so I'll just make sure it's lined up. And then you can tweak them with the cursor um, keys. But let's now hold Control alt and make a fourth one and a fifth one. And now on the fifth one, I'm going to make it be real long. So I'm going to go to the, again, I'm going to go to the selection tool and I'm going to make this be a large menu box and I'm going to custom fit it. So now I'll click on the second one from the bottom and I'll custom fit it. So it's just going to be um, a decent size fill area for my form. Now I have five boxes which line up on the right hand side and are custom on this side. Okay, that's all I need. Now I'm going to save my file and I'm going to go to export a print PDF. So let's just leave it as a print PDF. I'll, I named it test form in the same folder. I'm just going to click export. I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to um, minimize or close in design. Now I'm going to open up the test form, but I got to make sure it opens up in Acrobat. So I'm going to right hand click and open with Acrobat. Now when this opens, if you don't have the set of menus on your right, click the arrow. I'll move this over. Click the arrow and you can see that that shows up. Okay, because what you have to do, and hopefully on yours, it says prepare form somewhere on that list. So let's click the prepare form button. I'm going to leave this selected and hit start. Now they automatically designate, they located whatever boxes I made, they turned them into autofills. And now I'm going to make sure there are 11 points. I don't want because they're defaulted to 12 points. So this, this name that's inside will not show up when it's a PDF, it's just for your information. OK, so um, so you know which one it belongs to. And you can see over here that there's a hierarchy of what needs to go from tab to tab to tab to tab to tab. So um, if this isn't in the right order here, you can make it in the right order here by just moving these up and down. But I'm going to double click this and I have general, which is now a visible box. Um, and I'm going to go to appearance. And under appearance, I'm going to change this to 11 points. And I'm just going to do that on all the boxes. So um, I think 12 points is just too big. So I'm just going to go 11 points on all the boxes. Just take the time to do that. And I'm almost there. You can make sure, you know, I, it's going in at Helvetica. You can change any typeface you want. But Helvetica is fine, I think. And now um, left is the left to right is the orientation. You can look under these if you want, but you really don't have to. I'm going to click close and now I'm going to save this as um, in the same folder. Mine was in a test folder and I'm going to save it as test form um, A just so it's actually my real test form. So now I'm going to close this and I have the test form, which now was the original, which these aren't anything. And now I'm going to 
open the test form A. And you can see here how I can click and tab from each one. So I could put in here the student name, I could tab to the semester date, tab to the report, um, box so that I'll just put that in there and then if I wanted to 2016 and then I can just keep on typing and just like any common um, sentence it'll go um, it'll go to the next line so this box will go to the next line uh, automatically and we happy so you can see it just keeps on going now I'm gonna save it as for me I wouldn't want to save over the original so I'm gonna save it into the same folder I'm gonna save it as um, like my name just so I have it in there and now if I close it um, you can see that I have a test form which actually has all the boxes filled in now um, you can play with if you want the blue to show, if you want the fill to be nothing, um, but you're going to have to go into the original. So the original here is was my test form. I will go to test form A because you can click on these boxes after you hit prepare form and you can go back into the same form. You can preview and edit them, but you can double click it and um, in position and options, you might be able to find places in here like under general um, form field visible you have to really leave it at visible or else it doesn't really work I found out but um, you can figure out um, what you want in some of these here's here's um, a border color if you want it there's a text color there so I hope that helped okay